to bring it up to 70%, you need to bring it from 20,000 megawatt up to 200,000 megawatt. But then you haven't in taken in consideration the uh, population increase. So it's a huge challenge in Africa. And you need to find efficient way to do with, with this increase. In fact, I was coming from a meeting now and I was told that in fact pro company that the last 10 years it has been a decreasing of the electrification in Africa in average. And we need to stop that because we need to find something to do the good thing. And one thing is that I'm representing the, the foresight side of the, the coin. Um, it's a challenge to be representing the fossil side because you know you have the Kyoto agreements, you have the, the, the emission restriction of the carbon dioxide and, and so on. But we know now that there are development which can do uh, clean burning of oxygen. We know that there are technology to take care of the carbon dioxide as a transporter of energy to another source. For instance, the, the, the uh, solar. You can use, for instance, solar to uh, make energy and put out of the carbon dioxide and produce ethanol, methanol, and whatever you would like to produce. So today, the technology are there, and we can, even with coal, make an emission-neutral production. But it's also a problem with the uh, political institutions in the Western world to understand this. And th therefore, I have put this uh, presentation. It is to show that the gas turbine can be, be used as a environmental friendly uh, product, it's not only for producing carbon dioxide. Of course it will produce carbon dioxide, but you can do something with it. Um, this is the challenge. You know, to limit the global warming as we have agreed upon in our sense of agreements is that you, you shall not increase more than two centimeters Celsius because then it will be a disaster of, we can say the ice in the in the, uh, the, in, 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 uh, the, uh, the holes. That requires about 50 folds of carbon or decrease in the carbon production or we can say efficiency of the carbon production. It's a tremendous cost to be that. Something missing. Okay. Yeah, what we can say is that to to reach that, we need to make the production more efficient. We need also to take care of things which we know are, we can say, only, for instance, the oil, the oil industry, they are flaring the, 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 the gases when they take the, 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 in, in the oil production. I will show you this tremendous these figures I have. Okay, what's the problem in Africa? The problem in Africa is, of course, that for the energy is that the infrastructure is <coughs> and that is something which is the first priority number one that I can produce or we can say deliver a power plant I need to have roads I need to have a grid to connect to and I need to have something to burn all of this is infrastructure and logistics a friend of mine, he says, which are in the finance branch, 
he said to me that, Lars, to make this to infrastructure is logistic, but the rest of it is easy logistic. This is the true story. Uh, okay, you, you need to have a power matrix in the system. We can hear a lot of Western countries talking about uh, renewables and renewables and renewables. Yes, we need to have renewables, but we also need to have a mix. We need also to increase the, 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 the health, we can say the health, the welfare, and also the, the society in sub saharan countries. We need to use the ordinary, we can say, existing uh, energy resources to an energy mix, where we mix oil, coal, with so the solar, uh, solar and with, 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 with and of course fire. So it shall be a mix, and that's very important, and I will show you why. In the future, we can see also that the, the root have went <coughs> from the large power plants. I know that some of the countries in, in, in Africa are scheduling and planning for nuclear power plants. They are huge. Also for, for hydro power plants, which are huge. But if you're looking at the trends, it will, will go for more local produced power plants. Uh, small and medium-sized ones, and how can we deal with Also that still the engines and geotherm, in your country, geotherm will be a very large portion of the complete system. Biomass, waste, waste handling, how to make the waste handling. It's not a problem with the technology in, in the power plants, to produce it in the power plants. It's logistic again, to collect the waste. Then the rest, we can, can support you with. But collect is a problem with local uh, authorities. Solar wind, small hydro and small fossil will also be uh, uh, sources in, in the new energy mix. We can also see that coal will be substituted by, by natural gas, especially in the eastern part of Africa where you have the new explorations in deep sea uh, will be, a, we can say, a large portion of, of uh, energy made by, by these natural gas. Uh, you can also say like this, that in, in for instance, where you have coal as in, in Mozambique, where you also have gas, it will be, a, a, we can say, move from coal to gas. Yes, it's very clear. Yeah. Why? Here you have the, the result of, of it. You can see that the relation, if you have 100% in coal production of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, uh, and, uh, and, and NOx, and uh, sulfur, dioxide, you can see that for natural gas it's 50% less than for coal and for NOx it's only 29% and for sulfur it's more, almost nothing. And that is one of the reasons because of the, the agreements made in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the political society in Rome. So it will go from coal. If not, then there, as I said, even with coal, you have it today. Technologies, although it's expensive, but you have technologies which can convert uh, the emissions to neutral. And they, 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 they develop that. <coughs> okay, what can we do then with our gas turbines? A gas turbine, you know, is, is a generator of electricity where you put in the gas and fire it, and then you get, you know. 90% of the whole Africa market is on simple cycle. Simple cycle is where you put the gas turbine there, 
and then you burn it. You put burn gas or liquid. We can say that diesel or 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 HFO or whatever it is, and you get out <coughs> approximately 32 to 38 <coughs> percentage of, 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 of efficiency, <coughs> and the rest you you get out as carbon dioxide in the air. Yeah, if you have a um, if you have an industrial in the neighborhood. Then you put a boiler there, and you can take care of approximately 52 percent of the remaining uh, um, remaining um, emissions, or we can say all, all the, the emissions uh, to produce steam for the for the, the, the industry. That is, of course, a very good efficiency increase between two two, where you can put the, the power plant in the neighborhood of. Uh, industry and get out twofold use of it. But this is the best one. Uh, here you have a combined cycle. It has not been a success in, in, in Africa so far. Why? Because it has been kept extremely from here. Why pay 30% more when you have no, no, no advantage of it? The advantage here is that you have to take care of all the, 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 the power of the fuel which you let out in the chimney to take care of here. In, in Sweden we have a power plant which have the world record where you can have take care of, of the, 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 the fuel. The fuel efficiency is 95%. Where you produce district heat, but in in in, in you say we have no use of district heat. Of course you have, but you have of district cooling in shopping malls, for instance. So you can put there in in most for or in, in, in for instance we have built a power plant for supplying in combined cycle district cooling for a shopping mall, electricity for the people, and and. That's it. 90 to 95 percent <coughs> efficiency. Electrical efficiency is 55 on 4 percent. That's a world record of, of, of in the world that we have. And nowadays we have a new release of a new machine, which is a development of the one we had at the world record before. So we will increase it with approximately uh, 0.8 percent more in efficiency in electric. Okay, the difference in the, in, the, in the energy mix of the, the carbon dioxide, you can see very clear here that coal is a tremendous uh, poisoner and you can go down gas, you can get, see the, the difference between the gas and the combined cycle as I showed you in the, the previous picture <coughs> combined with the coal. And you can understand this when you see the coal use in the world. It is 1,607 gigawatt in use. It's tremendous to take care of that. And all of this inside this ellipse can be from a financing way to see it possible to do. Uh, we can say what we can do is put a gas turbine in front of as to uh, operate with in, in the cold and then we get an increase of that. Another thing which we need to, to understand in Africa is that the electricity use is similar to what they do in New York. They come in here. So it's a huge market it's also a huge market for, it's a challenge for all the, who you are working there and take the decisions. How you shall make everything to at least be somewhat. It will not be today, it will not be tomorrow, it will be someday. But this is a, a really a balance. Okay, this is, I believe, 
I do not need to tell you this. But what's very important is that the Power Africa, Obama initiative, where also Sweden are involved in, the Swedish government and the Swedish industry, have the goal to support uh, with, with, uh, with, we can say, with different uh, methods to increase the 30% electricity up, electrification up to 70%. It's a huge challenge. Uh, only to, to make it understanding, this is where you have the large oil and gas fields or the explorations in, in, in Africa. And it's a huge part of the country, or of the continent. And here you have hope. So this is the way to use it in the best available technology for the best environment. But to use that that you have is a good thing. Okay, what can we do with our gas turbines, which are burning fossil? Yeah, we can, as I said, we can instead of having <coughs> these open simple cycles, you can we can support with so-called steam tailing make it to a combined cycle. New power plant, by changing the evaluation criteria, the world pine criteria, that is something what we need to do. We need to, we can say, give, get the world bank to change their philosophy how they would like to have the evaluation of the purchase and investment. But the new one should be combined cycle. <coughs> then, of course, flare gas operation. I will have another picture, and you will understand why. I say flare gas. In Angola, Mozambique will come. Nigeria, Algeria, in Kenya, within some years, it will come. I will show you. And then, of course, burning alternative fuels in the gas turbine, which we can do. Okay, here you see the electrical efficiency change if you go from a simple cycle to a, uh, uh, to a, 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 a combined cycle. And I can tell you that the investment is approximately 30% more expensive with the combined cycle because it's more, more the systems involved. But, Within three to four years, you will have a break even where you have the OEM, which, take, which is less for those ones. And that means that also the, the OEM with the fuel use, because you have 30% less use of fuel this for the same energy. Okay, what we can see is that. The, these gas turbines will be a um, complement and an energy mix together with wind and solar. And we'll also substitute, as you can see, 126,000 ton carbon dioxide from a coal, coal power plant of a size of 150 megawatt compared to 50. 1,400 to the same size. Of course, this will be this. This will also be the backbone, it will be the base load, because without the base load possibilities, hydro, uh, 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 fossil fuels, then you will have a problem with load channeling only using this, whatever the politicians say. One example is of this 90% is, is uh, uh, the believer and simple cycle. We have supplied some of the machines to Ubuntu site in Tanzania. There we can increase this with 
one steam turbine, one boiler, and then we can, can yeah. for the same carbon dioxide, uh, to 30 percent more power out. This is what we would like to do, and this is the most efficient one. Can you imagine that 150 billion cubic meters of natural gas is flared annually in the atmosphere? That is approximately 30% of the European <coughs> annual gas consumption. And that means 77 million cars. And that means that if we could build 1,150 megawatt power plants, we should take care of this. Sorry, what's that? Why? Yeah. Because of two things. Nobody uh, is interested to, to pay to put the pipeline to the shore, to the coastline. The multinational companies would like to earn money. The oil explorer, the oil companies. They are not interested. And then we have a capex driven culture in Africa, such as. And especially World Bank is, is driven easily their evaluation criteria. This costs some money to take care of this. But it's a, we can say it's the, the fuel itself doesn't cost anything. The only country is a neighbor country to Kenya who have decided to go for, for this. They have in their operational the license for the Lake Albert project in Uganda stipulated that if not the operators, they can take care of the flare gas, then they have not an operational license. So that is connected, the, the operation of the power, the, the, the oil field will be connected <coughs> to build up elect, uh, energy. We can, or we can say, uh, electrical production units, <coughs> and also, of course, infrastructure. But that's the only country in the world who are taking this decision. Okay, what can we do others? Yeah, I was in, in Uganda for some weeks ago. I was looking at Kakira Sugar Mill, you probably know about that. Uh, they would like to make the, the, the product more efficient, or we can say take care of more of the waste. So they would like to take care of the megas, the mega, the megas, yes. Bagas. Bagas. bagas first, and then you have megas. <coughs> from what you get from melas, 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 where you get uh, from from the sugar production itself. Yeah. Where you can produce ethanol, you can distillate it to ethanol, and we can burn it in our machineries. That is a biofuel. And if that's not enough, we can take care of hyacinths, make that, uh, we, can uh, we can make gas of it, biogas of, of hyacinth, and burn that in our machineries which is a problem for the hydro, in fact, as you know. And also, it's also to, to defend the, 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 the malaria sickness, because the, the hyson, as you know, is, is one of the sources of the, of the malaria problem. Uh, okay, ethanol, as I said, we can also, and this is very important, the same gas from waste. We can take our machinery, and you can, I don't know if you have been in, in, in the, the Stockholm uh, gas factory for, for waste gas production. No. And they, they use the gas for uh, operating the buses, <coughs> the community buses here in Stockholm. But you can also burn it in a power plant. And that means that we can, <coughs> with having a system to collect the, the tremendous waste mountains that you have in your country, we have here in our country, we have it in the, the global world. 
we can take care of it and make electricity. But the only thing is, which is out of my, because the possibility is the infrastructure, how is this another thing that must be, 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 be sold. But I can only produce the electricity with the gas I get. Probably I can also be building the, the gas facility for it, the gasification facility, but I can't then do the logistics in front of it. That's other. Okay. Yeah, of course you have the Rwanda and you have the oil efforts which they are doing for the Lake Kivu project with the Leven Lake. That we can say is, is something which is one lake, it's two, it's two other lakes in, in Cameroon. But that is in, in, in any case this. And then we can of course you do methane in coal beds. That means that if somebody have a coal mine, we can take care, care of the methane gas, which is also a security and health problem in the, in the mine. Okay, thank you very much. This was my intention to present for you. I do not have any promotion of my machinery. You probably know what the gas turbine is. I would like to see, give you some imagination what we can do with our machinery. Okay. Questions? <coughs> Questions? Yes. Thank you for that presentation. I'm, I'm particularly interested in the conversion of um, water hyacinth yeah. into biogas. Yeah. Now, water hyacinth is an organic material. And depending on the process you use, can a similar process be used to convert the organic waste to generate in the cities? It can. We have made some investigations there. And it needs to be more investigated, you know. The, the problem with hyacinth is that it's not frequently there. It's swimming around in the lake. Sometimes it's there, sometimes not. It's not every time you can harvest it. But when you do that, so you need to have two different uh, sources to take to to get the, the biogas. Hyacinth is one, and the, the other thing is something else, because because of the irregular, if we can say, the, you you do not know exactly when you can harvest. You have not a continuously running process to get the the the, the power plant. Yes. But do you use it as a wet material or as dry mass? No, you can do, you, you make it, what do you call it? Um, uh, fra uh, uh, Fibosting. No, um. uh, Refrigerator. Uh. No, 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 no. Uh, mm. Okay, you, 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 you make gas of it, and that means that you, you dry it and then you, you ferment it. That ferment, yes. You ferment it. Mm. That was the word. Mm -hmm. but, but that's very simple because I mean, if there's a fisherman in Lake Victoria, yeah. it has to fish water hyacinth as a feed. Yeah. You don't need to bother about having to be there. No. No, no. So, so it's, we, we are looking upon this. We have to, in, in your country, we have had a, a partner which was very interested to, to look upon this. We, we were looking at the, the, what it stopped was the, that it was if you have not enough of hyacinth to operate the concrete power plant. Because in an analytical condition, what the hyacinth doubles in biomass every eight days. Yeah, I yeah, know. But sometimes also it's, 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 it's empty sometimes. You have no hyacinth there. I was, in, in the, I was at, at the source of the River Nile for uh, one year ago. And it was no hyacinth at all. So you need, we, we need to find a way to both, for instance, if you're looking at Kenya and the, 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 the Lake Victoria area, you need to, to have, for instance, waste incinerator, <coughs> waste gas certification in Kusumu together with the ISO. 
then I believe it should be a sustainable uh, possibility. Questions? Yeah, Donna? So, um, I was looking at the Power Africa program, and I see that the Swedish government is a very um, big partner. And one of the premises is that it's meant to stimulate this, in that this government investment is, this USAID program, is meant to stimulate partnerships <coughs> and private sector investment. Yeah. And of course, there are other partners involved as well. But can you clarify the mechanism by which Siemens would be involved and how that partnership works, would potentially work with any of the government agencies that we have represented here, whether it's Nairobi City County, KRC, Nairobi Metro, NAMSIP. It's not clear to me how that would work. Yeah. I shouldn't say. Siemens for a moment, because I, I should say that to be a Power Africa company, you need to announce your interest in, in a certain uh, organization which is administrative of, of the, the Power Africa 